Hi there, thanks for dropping into my place here at 5 Foyle Street in Waitete. We've lived here now for 10 amazing years and we absolutely love it, but it's time for us to move on. So come on in and let me show you around. We've got a lovely large living area and it's north facing so it gets all the sun. And in the winter, we've got a great Yunker wood burner, so it just heats the place beautifully. It's even got a brand new wet back. We've got this cool wee room that's just off the living area, and we use it as a TV room, but you could set it up for anything. I just love this fireplace. It really fits with the period of the house. French doors off the lounge. These open up onto a huge big deck that looks out over the garden. And the main bedroom also opens out onto this deck and it's really sunny with big bay windows. It's huge too. And there's also two sets of built-in wardrobes, one of which is an airing cupboard. Over the hallway in the second bedroom, guess what, there's another fireplace, the mirror of the one in the TV room. This room is big enough for a queen bed and it looks out over the front garden. My kitchen is a delight to work in. There's so much bench space, macrocarpa no less, and you can see out onto the gardens and into the potager from here too. There's a wee window above the sink bench so you can keep an eye on the backyard. My office is just off the kitchen with windows galore, so there's masses of natural light. And you could use this room as a dining room, or as I do, and run a business from here. Before we start the tour of the garden, I want to give you a sense of where you are here in relation to Blueskin Bay. Now that's just across the paddock. We have a huge workshop with this massive door that you can get vehicles in and out of. There's also a one car garage and there's another standalone one too. And a decent sized storage room. In my potager, I have 14 raised beds with nice wide paths. I grow vegetables mainly in the middle with my large collection of herbs, some of them quite unusual, around the outside edge. There's the most delicious red grape in one greenhouse and in the other I grow tomatoes and courgettes. By the way, the soil here is very fertile and I feed it with masses of my own compost. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised by the variety of permanent plants, both edible and ornamental, including the big strawberry bed. At the entrance to the orchard, I've got a stand of raspberries. Now these are our personal favourites, but down in the orchard itself, we have three plums, and there's two more by the house, two pears, seven apples, a quince, a mulberry, and a crab apple. No two trees are the same variety. There's also black currants and hazelnuts. We eat lots of the fruit fresh, of course, but I also make heaps of chutneys and jams. Plus, I freeze a lot, so we've got year-round fruit. One of my favourite places to sit at the end of the day and enjoy the peace and quiet is down at the estuary. You can look out onto the nearby wetland with its variety of bird life and up over to the Orokanui Eco Sanctuary. Now let's pop back to the house via the estuary and woodland walkways across the woodshed lawn. We spend a lot of time sitting under the silver birch tree or under the cover of the back porch. We love it because it's very private here, yet we're just a stone's throw from the local library, garden centre, shop and the school. And it's less than 15 minutes to town, so all the amenities of the city, but with the peace and quiet of the country, it's the best of both worlds. We've had a very special 10 years here at Foyle Street, and if you can see yourself living here, please give Steve and Jackie a call.